ओम विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण प्रसाय भूतले श्रीमती भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी निमिनामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पश्चात्यदेशतारिणे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Last night we attended the Rathi Atra singing support. So coming over to Ipo this evening to continue to take advantage of this auspicious month of December. So now that we have singing support, we are going to take advantage of this auspicious month of December. So now that we have singing support, we are going to take advantage of this auspicious month of December. So now that we have singing support, December is a very special month for the Malaysia Yatra because we have so many Rathi Yatras that month. So, December month is a very special month for the Malaysia Yatra. And to follow up with the first, on the 1st of January, there's another Rathi Yatra in Melaka. And on the, then on the 7th of January, there's a Rathi Yatra in Brickfields. जनवरी वन्दाम देरी वन्दे मलाका अभी राधे उड़ रहे हैं लेकिन बदे एलान देरी कॉल तो हम कर रहे हैं राधे यात्रा ही लेकिन बदे तो लाइक दैट वी ट्राई टू हैव मोर राधे यात्रा ड्यूरिंग दिस मंथ ऑफ़ दिसंबर बिकॉज़ इट्स आल्सो द टाइम व्हेन वी ट्राई टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट मोर ऑफ़ प्रोवोप so in the December month, the Lord has made a lot of work. And in that time, we have done the same work. So we have done the same work. So we have done the same work. In the December month, we have done the same work. Yeah. In the times of Prabhupada, and in the times when Prabhupada had just left, not so much now, but in the past, we would always try to do a lot of Sankirtan, and distribute books to everyone because book distribution is how we could contact new people and introduce Krishna consciousness to them. So, Prabhupada Kaal Tulavandi, the December Mahanavandi, Nariya Buddhakam Viniyogam Sevam, Karanam Inna Vendrali, in the Buddhakam Viniyogam Sevam, the Muna Maka, Nariya Navragalai Sandhika Vaipa Krikinta. Srila Prabhupada told us, he said, Communism, in, was introduced to India. He said no Russians went there to teach communism. He said, but he sent the books about communism there. And people used to read the books about communism and they got the idea that communism would be good for India. So India in the communism in the Kalakatila in the Buddha many of them say the and indeed Bengal was communist for many years and then Kerala also was communist and may still be communist, I think. Bengal, Marinam, Kerala, Marinam, the communism for a Minamaga. The Communist Party of India is active. And they're, they're, they came about, they, uh, it came into India by their book, by the books which were sent there to India. So Prabhupada said in the same way, we want to distribute our books and give people Krishna consciousness. So in the communism, and in the Pushtanga Muniyoga Sevati Pandiranda Agal, Anam Prabhupada Sunara Nambali Pushtanga Muniyoga Sevati Nambali I remember when I was a very young boy, I used to go to the public library and I used to see books by Vivekananda in our library there, in the public library. So, so, of course, 1896, in the year of Prabhupada's birth, 
Bhakti Vinod Thakur was sending books to America and to Canada, to the universities. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur went to our own Bhushan and the many Balgali Karang were carrying away to him that. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada, he also liked very much to print books and to have the devotees distribute the books. So Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, our own in the end of 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 the end. He was having a daily newspaper. He was printing a daily newspaper, and people were surprised. They thought, "How is it? You can every day you're printing a newspaper." So, Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj, that the Anandam Nani that was there, our Acharya district, our Vinayakam Sharma was there. But he would argue. That in Calcutta there are six or seven daily newspapers just giving the news about Calcutta. He said our newspaper is the news of the spiritual world. So Calcutta lavande in the Nadi the lavande adavde in the Jada Samanta Padmanam Vishengal in the de. Anar Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj and the Army Kavana Samanta Padmanam. He said, every moment, every second, we could print a newspaper. There's so much news because the spiritual world is three times the size of the whole material world. And Calcutta is one very small city on one very small planet in one tiny universe. And there are an infinite number of universes with an infinite number of planets. So, Gregangal Narayaga irikin dene, ana vande Kolkata vande vande Sriya or Manilam da. So, in the Manila the pati ena irida mudiyum. Na ba Army kam Narayya Gregangal irikin dene, na ba Narayya Vishengal irida la mande Maharashtra. So, they can print six newspapers just about one little city, Kolkata. He said, "Our paper is about the spiritual world. It's so big that every second we can have a newspaper." So, in the army, you know, that when the in the army, you know, the party, you know, that the Nariya army, you know, that they, Anna, the Kolkata party, you know, that they are not here. The problem is there are no buyers for the newspaper. You print one every second. You won't get any customers, so that's why. So, I know you say, but if I don't call you, so I know I'm going to do that. But of course, now, today, modern day, you have mobile networks and you can do a lot of things. You can spread a lot of news, a lot of information being distributed using the mobile phone, mobile networks, Wi Fi, everything. So we encourage, we were encouraged by Srila Prabhupada during the month of December. It's a good time because people have festive spirit. You know, in, at least in the Western countries, in the Western countries, that they, they celebrate Christmas and they give presents to each other. So we would go out and distribute books and tell them this is a nice present to give someone. Give someone the Bhagavad Gita. Okay, okay. So Sila Prabhupada so right that in the Madha Telavandi, the December Madha Telavandi, in the Mustangal Erandi, many of them say that they come to the Avasi and the Purimandra. So what is so special about this Bhagavad Gita? We have to understand this Bhagavad Gita is not any ordinary book. In the Bhagavad Gita, book of Gustagamana, there is a Indonesia, Unmiana, Visham, and the Namkar in the Kalavan. Bhagavad Gita is eternal knowledge, and it was spoken millions of years ago. It's been spoken right now. Lord Krishna is speaking the Bhagavad Gita right now in some other planet, in some other universe. In the Bhagavad Gita, in the Jnana Manada, in the Nirdar Manada, in the Bhagavad Gita, 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 in the Bhagavad
over where Karagatala and Bhagavan Pesi Pandirakanda. But when we come to Malaysia, we were having sloka competition. We wanted people to recite the slokas. Nobody knew Bhagavad Gita. All they knew was prayers to Murga and to other to Lord Shiva and Aman. They, they didn't know anything to, about Krishna from the Bhagavad Gita. So in uh, Malaysia not today with the Bhagavad Gita Pati Ramba Bhagavad Pandi Tariya today. So we have to start, we had to start, the devotees coming to Malaysia had to start from the beginning. People didn't know the Bhagavad Gita. We had to get them to read the Bhagavad Gita, and then, get, then teach them the Bhagavad Gita. And that's going on even now, more and more teaching more and more seminars and classes are being held to give people the education in the Bhagavad Gita. So in the Bhagavad Gita, we have a lot of people who have been able to do this. We have a lot of people who have been able to do this. We have a lot of people who have been able to do this. We have a lot of people who have been able to do this. So now, Today you can see that practically the whole world is aware of the Bhagavad Gita. It's very well known. You approach people and they'll say, Oh, Bhagavad Gita, oh yeah, I've got that. Somebody give me the book. I got the book somewhere. Someone passed it to me. I've got that book. So, if you have a book, but not all the Bhagavad Gitas are authorized. And so many people write Bhagavad Gita, they use it to present their own thinking and their own speculation. So that is cheating. They're not giving the real message of the Bhagavad Gita. They're simply using the Bhagavad Gita to give their own teachings. So in the Bhagavad Gita, and situation is so bad, just to give you an example, devotees in, in England were asked to teach, uh, to teach the is Hindu studies to, because they have religion classes in the UK. In England now they have religious classes. They teach about different religions. So the devotees were asked to teach about, about to teach the, the, what is the teaching of Krishna consciousness. And the teachers who were teaching religion, they were surprised. They found it very difficult. They thought, they couldn't believe that in Hinduism, there's also a God. They thought in Hinduism, there's no God. So, in the Natale, in the Army Kamana Vishnu, in the Matra, in the Pesi, in the Kandaragal, and in the Umilia, in the Yerevan Yerikandara, in the Amurukum Teria Vilay, and the Neneta, and the Achiri Parikandara. So, some people thought there's no God. Then there were others who thought there are many gods. And there are all these different ideas. Nobody knows really what is actually the fact. So we have to teach them, we have to teach them. There's one God. There's one Supreme over everyone. And there are many others who assist him in administrating the universe. So that's one thing which we had to teach. And then another thing we have to teach, which is very difficult and very important, is to help people to understand the difference between the body and the soul. So Urmiyana Jana Manandi Nam Madala Purindukanu Nam Mandi in the Atma Nam in the Udala Dayandi. Now in the Bhagavad Gita, when Krishna begins to teach Arjuna, then the first thing he teaches about is the difference between the body and the soul. 
ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಗೀತೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂದ ಜ್ಞಾನತ್ವದ ಮೊದಲ ಕುರಿತಿಂದ ನೀನು ಓಡಲ್ ಕಡೆಯಾದೆ ನೀವೊಂದು ಆತ್ಮ ಎಂದು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಷನೆಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಓ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ನೋ ಐ ಶುಡ್ಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಐ ಶುಡ್ಂಟ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೋ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ರೊಂಬ ಕರುಣಿಕವಾಗಿ ಇರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಮೆನೆಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟವರಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಮೆನೆಗೆ ಬಂದಿರುತ್ತಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಿಮೈಂಡೆಡ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಲುಕ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಶಾಟ್ರಿಯ ಐ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ when you come on the battle field you can expect to be kind and gentle to people so krishna bhagwan and arjun ne kore ginda ni vandu or satriyan satriyan enda kor priya veto adore dharmate ni sayavena bolu kodina lord krishna was telling arjuna you have a duty to perform you have to do your duty so krishna bhagwan arjun ne kore ginda onake kadame irukinda and kadame ni sariyaga sayavena and lord krishna reminded arjuna that his duty as a kshatriya was that he should fight so onada kadame vandu satriyan endral sande koruvathu kor puriyo seivathu adu nin neevu sariyana parai seiyavendum nanu kodina and then lord krishna went on to explain that when you fight you not going to kill anyone because the soul is eternal the soul never dies only we give up the body you're only killing the body you're not killing the soul you cannot kill the soul so krishna bhagavan arjuna ne korigindra ne vande udale dan arikindra inda aatmave alipadile aatma vande nirandaramana jeevana so lord krishna explained that death is simply the change of the body you give up one body you take another body so krishna bhagavan korigindra inda udale vande ಉಡಲೆ ಅನಿವೇದ ಪೋಲ ಇಂದ ಉಡಲ್ ಇಂದ ಉಡೆ ಬಂದು ಕಳೆದಾಗಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟ ನಾವು ಬಂದು ಅದೇ ತೂಕಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪುದು ಉಡೆ ಅನಿವೇದ ಪೋಲ ಇಂದ ಕೂಡಿಂದ ಸೋ ಪಾಕಬ ಗೀತಾ ಇಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಟು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ देम ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ देयर ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಬಾಲ್ಗಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಭೂಮಿಯಾನ ತತ್ವತೆ ಇಂದ ಕೂಡಿಂದ ನಾವು ಬಂದು ಇಂದ ಉಡಲ್ ಕಡೆಯಾದ ನಮ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಂದ ಬಟ್ देन ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ no we're not the only spiritual being there's also there's a supreme above everyone who is also spiritual so aatmigam endradhu vande nam mattum alla namalukku meraga oru thar irukinda endu nam purinjukollavum the supreme lord is also a spirit a divine spiritual being and he has a spiritual body so and the way the work of our come on me come on and the order is going to come and put it to the end we have a material body a temporary material body but he has a spiritual body so number number of the jada would have been that the bhagwan is going to on me go to the end of the other than the other one of the jada would have been that kind of man and we have a relationship with him also that he is actually our best friend but we have forgotten him so namalukku enna sambandham endral iravarku namalukku nam namalukku avar vande nanbanaga irukindra he is the best friend to us he sits in our heart waiting for us to turn to him so avaru nanbanaga irukindra avaru paarkindra eppozhudhu nam vande avare thirumbu paapom endru we have forgotten him we are looking to everything else outside we are not looking within but within there is the lord he's sitting in our heart and he's our very best friend he's giving us knowledge remembrance and also forgetfulness so bhagwan and ellara idayathinum vandu veetirukindra so adhe nam manalu purinjukolla vendum avaru dhaan nammalukku nirandaramana nanbanaga irukka mudiyum endru avaru vandu 
because he's in the heart he knows what we are thinking and he knows if we want to forget him he allows it he facilitates it so that we can try to enjoy this material world so bhagavan kitenda na jnana marivu maradi varigindade so ide nam therinde bhagavan kitta marupade nende nam vandu nerindu kondigindrom ana avare nam ore idayathilirund nam ore vandu vali nadathigindar so we go on just like in a drama if you are an actor or actress then in the drama you want to forget who you are in real life and you want to enter into the spirit that mood of playing the part which you are representing in the drama naadagathil eppadi vandu nam nadikindromo nadikindraargalo adhe pola vandu vaalikilum nam vandu andha nilaiyai nam vandu arindhu nam seyapadum shri prabhupada was telling how he took part in a drama and he was doing the the ramayan ramayana and he was telling about how lord rama had to go away with uh he went away to the forest and he left maharaj dasarath there and maharaj dasarath was feeling the separation from lord rama and lakshman and sita when they went to the forest so sila prabhupada vandu inda na ramayana nadagathilla vandu avarum nadithu pangu petirundha எப்படி வந்து ராமர் சீதை லட்சுமண வந்து தசரத பிரிந்து அவங்க காட்டுக்கு போனாங்க என்று அந்த அந்த ஒரு நாடகத்தை அவங்க செய்தார் so the man who was playing the part of maharaj dasara when lord rama left and went away to the forest and maharaj dasara collapsed he was just so broken hearted he couldn't keep he couldn't he couldn't keep his consciousness so ராமச்சந்திர பகவான் வந்து தசர மன்னரை வந்து பிரிந்து போகும்போது அவர் வந்து மனம் ரொம்ப கஷ்டப்பட்டார் அனுபவத்தை வந்துருந்துகொள்ளும் இருக்கின்றோம் in the heart he allows us to forget we forget that we are spiritual beings we forget that we have a duty to serve krishna and we're just thinking only about the body and everything else so ipriyaga nam vandu thanne marandu nam irukindradnala bhagavan namale maratha seigindrar so ipriyaga nam vandu nammade unmayana nilaiyai marandu nam vandu bhagavanukku seva seivathu endru nam vandu marandu seyapadukondiru Krishna knows what we want to do. He facilitates it. You want to forget everything? No? Okay, go ahead and forget. So, nam yedhe nenikendromo adan padi nam Bhagavan namale vandu sel sel padukindra. Krishna doesn't force everyone or anyone to surrender or to become his devotee. He gives everyone free will. So, Krishna Bhagavan vandu yari vandu varpurutu kadaiyade. Avangare ennathal pola vaaradhukku avaru vandu sugandharam kodukindra. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita Samoham sarva bhuteshu name dveshosti na priya ye bhajanti tu mam bhakta mai te teshu chapyaham Lord Krishna is saying I am be no one I am equal to everyone So Bhagavan Gita le sara samoham sarva bhuteshu na vandu ellarkum samamana vanu Bhagavan kurugindha But if someone renders service to me then he is a friend he is in me and i am in him ana yaar vande enakku seve porigindraargalo avangala vande na avangale naan thaniyaga naan paathu kondirukken endru kondirukken so krishna is saying he is equal to everyone but he has a special interest in his devotees bhagavan ellarukkum samamaga irukkindra ana bhaktanaagi vittal avaru vande thaniyaga paathu kondirukken proper gives example just like a mother they love children they like all children but they have a special love for their own child 
தாய் வந்து எல்லா குழந்தைகளும் அவங்க வந்து சமமான அன்பை காட்டு காட்டுவார்கள் ஆனா இருந்த பொழுது தன்னுடைய குழந்தைக்கு அவங்க வந்து அது அதோடைய என்ன சொல்லுவாங்க அந்த பாசம் வந்து தனியாக நம்ம பார்க்கலாம் It's natural, natural. The mother will have a special love for her own child. So, Daya, Dhanodi, a kundigal kundi, pasadi kundi, adu thavru kariyar. So, the same way, Krishna has a special feeling for his devotees. So, adhe pola kundi, Bhagavan Sri Krishna kundi, Dhanodi bhaktar kundi, adu thaniyaga, thanamri vali kundi. For people who are not devotees, then Krishna lets them forget. Oh, let them forget. Let them go ahead. Let them. try to enjoy the material world so yaar bhagavane marandu irukindaro ninga marandu irupadhu pola avanga vandu indha jana varagathil vaadathukku moichi pandirukindargal santoshamaga irukka paakindargal so ninga adhe pola irunga endru bhagavan kuluvindar but for those who are those people who are devotees krishna gives intelligence in the heart is still in the heart for everyone for some people he allows them to forget for other people he will give knowledge he will give remembrance he will remind them what they are supposed to do what is their duty ana sarana sarana kadai adinda bhaktargalukku vandu bhagavan indha nyayamulam maradhi harivu kudukindra avangalai nilai arivadarku this is a super soul but lord krishna's expansion in the heart of all living entities not only in the human beings but in the hearts of all living entities bhagavan vande ella idayilum vande paramaatmaga veetirukindra manidhar mattumalla matta jeevarasigalum kuda just think how busy krishna must be we think we're busy just think how krishna is busy is in everyone's heart and in every living entity he is allowing is giving knowledge or remembrance or forgetfulness நாம வந்து நினைக்கின்றோம் நாம ரொம்ப பிஸியாக இருக்கின்றோம் அப்படின்னா பகவான் எவ்வளவு பிஸியாக இருக்கின்றார் என்று நாம் பார்க்கலாம் காரணம் அவர் எல்லா இதயத்திலும் அவர் வந்து வீட்டு கொண்டு எல்லாத்தையும் பார்த்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றார் one bird is eating the fruit and the other bird is the witness so bargidile vandu vilakapadikindrathu eppadi or marathala vandu irandu kuri kiligal irukindrathu or kili vandu palathai saapidukindrathu innoru kili vandu adu paathi kondirukindrathu one bird is the jeeva the living entity our self each of us we are jeevas but then there's the super soul that is like shiva the controller ஒரு <laughs> இருக்கும் <laughs> he is seeing everything we do so ipriyaga paramatmaaga ange irundhu nam eppodu vandu paathu kondirukkindra and he is arranging for the future according to our desire and according to the deeds the actions we perform and they will determine where we go and what happens to us in the future so vara kaalangala vandu nam edhe nam nenithi seidhu kondirukkorom adhu pola nadapadharku bhagavan namalukkum So there are different processes for self-realization. There is, for example, karma yoga, where so, you perform your prescribed duty, or you perform specific pious activities recommended in the Vedas, which will help us to advance. 
But it doesn't stop us from acting sinfully in the future. So it's not giving really the, the ultimate benefit. So It's only giving some temporary relief for some time. And when you do these activities, if you make a little mistake, then you can get so much trouble. It can bring more trouble on you. If you don't do the actions properly, if you make some mistakes, then it, it brings us again problems. So, just like if you read Bhagavatam, there's a story about the one king, Nriga. He's a very pious king. He was giving a lot of cows in charity. So, Murga in the Arasan Vanda, the Nariya, Dhananakurta. They give cows, that's the highest charity. And he would give good cows, not old cows. Not cows with no milk. He would give young cows who just had their first calf. So they were giving nice milk and they were very healthy cows and they were well taken care of. They were all decorated and clean. So and this king was giving thousands of cows like this. And he would give the cows to very qualified brahmanas, to brahmanas who were not rich, to brahmanas who were well educated in the Vedas and who lived a simple austere life. He would give the cows to these people. So the king, the king was very motivated, he was very pious, you know, he wanted to do all this charity, but he was also thinking that I will enjoy the benefit of giving so much charity. So it happened one day when he gave some cows to a brahmana, one cow had gone away and it went in mixed with other cows and he gave that cow again, he gave the same cow to another brahmana. So both brahmanas were upset because they were saying, hey, the king gave this cow to me. And the other brahmana said, no, he gave it to me. And they came back to the king and they complained that, look, why you do like this? You gave the cow to me, now you're giving the cow to him? What kind of this, what kind of action is this? So in the dhanam say, what was the tavarana to the vita? The enna mendra, and the brahmana is the cow or pasu kurita, and the pasu bandhu matra or pasu kurita kandhu paraki, and the pasu imitu bandhu ignore brahmana kandhu bandhu kurita vita. So one person and the other 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 person. Oh, the king was so sorry, he apologized. He said, I'll give you each a thousand cows to make up for it. And both the brahmanas said, no, we have vowed not to take charity again. We only took charity one time. We cannot take charity again. So in the brahmana, so 
So the king could not satisfy the two brahmanas. The two brahmanas went away in an angry mood. And, the, and that king had to suffer the reactions. So after a short time he died and he had to go to Yamaraj. And Yamaraj asked him, do you want to suffer for your sins or do you want to enjoy for your piety? He said, let me suffer for my sin. So so the result was he became a lizard after being the king because he had taken something from a brahmana and given it to another brahmana that's considered stealing from a brahmana and that's a very serious thing and the result was he was put in the body of a lizard and he was put into the bottom of a well in the body of a big lizard so he put in the so this is a problem with pious activities. Very dangerous. A little mistake. Even he did it. It happened. He didn't know. It wasn't his fault. But it happened. And he had to get the reaction. He had to suffer. So Punya Karangal Nam Sailam and a Saita and the Mariana Saraka Saranangal and the Mary Vilivagal Nam Ravati Taku. So there's another process for, by which you can get perfection, that is the process of cultivating knowledge, jnana yoga. You cultivate knowledge, but that also has problems. So Aradhi Vandu Jnana, so in the Jnana Te Vandu Peruvadhi Kinam Vandu Moichi Padikindam and the Jnana Vettala Kura Adhanim Sada. The problem with Jnana Yoga is it takes very long time. It takes many lifetimes. One lifetime is not enough. You need many lifetimes to cultivate the knowledge to get anywhere, to come to the higher level. So, when the Nare Selvadurki in the Jnana Mandadur Mukhyaman or Padiago, and for many people who go to that path, they don't understand about the Supreme as being a person. They think ultimately everything is impersonal. And they think the goal is to become one and to merge in the oneness. And that is spiritual suicide. So, uh, so there's suicide of the body, you kill the body, that's kill the material suicide, but there's spiritual suicide when you kill the soul and to deny the exist the relationship of the soul as an individual soul, that is what happens when you take to the impersonal path and you think the goal is Sayuja Mukti to merge in the oneness. So so then there's one more path which is called Upasana Kanda where we worship the Supreme. Sometimes also people will worship other devas but the best thing is to worship the Supreme Lord by doing Bhakti Yoga. And that bhakti yoga, that is the easiest process of self-realization. It is the easiest, it is joyful, 
and it's it's very quick to make advancement. So in the bhakti yoga mandal, there are very slow man or nilai. Our Anandamum, Swayana, Anubhavum, Kadayu. And if people will take to this process, they will be greatly benefited. That very quickly they can make progress. So in the bhakti yoga mandal, na amal kande, when the sabadar the na amal kande, nariya nanme do kadayu. And what do we need to do? Well, it begins with hearing. We have to be willing to hear, and we have to be willing to learn about how we can serve the Supreme Lord. So, in the bhakti, I am the first one. I am the one who is the first one. In the first one, 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 the first one. Some people may like to serve Lord Vishnu or Narayan, and others can serve Lord Krishna. Up to the individual's taste, you know. But we, in the Krishna consciousness movement, we give the emphasis on service to Krishna, because like Krishna is described as Swayam Bhagavan, the original personality of Godhead, and Lord Vishnu is his expansion. So, para avadhanangal lirundanam kore, namo ande nara enan matra avadhanangal ende namo ande seve seva, ana umyana ande poyenda. भगवान एक कुश्त भगवान एक बंदी सेवे से मिलता है बंदी आंखी का भी पड़ता है ये ना भगवान के लिए ना मतावदार के लिए ना नहीं बल्कि इधर दे सो अंदर जिले इधर ना बोलते हैं बंदी से मोदी ना बोलते हैं आनंद बोलते हैं एंड द मोड इज दैट वी आर द सर्वेंट ही इज द मास्टर एंड वी आर हिज सर्वेंट सो व्हाटेवर � सेवकन और अंदर मास्टर और अंदर ताले वाले सावर के नाम पे सेव सेव नाले नाम लोग करते हैं नवाना तो करेंगे जस्ट लाइक वी डू आर किर्तन चैंटिंग दिस इज़ फॉर द प्लेजर ऑफ द लॉर्ड सो ये दिस सही दाल मंदी ये रावण तिरुपति सेव दागी ये तो मेरे को मार्गी नाम ना भगवान ने तेरे नाम ते नाम पारे बिन रो we chant the Maha Mantra and we dance and when this we are dancing for him, everything is for his pleasure. As Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you offer in give away, whatever austerities you perform, do it as an offering for me. So Bhagavan Vandu Gita Le Kuru Gita Yedhi Sayi Dalam Nam Vandu Allah Bhagavan Karpani Kavendam Nam Vena Sabu Dalam Sayi Yedha Dhavangal Kuri Dalam Sayi Yedhi Sayi Dalam Bhagavan Karpana Maga Nam Sayi Yedha So you don't have to give up your material desires. You can dovetail your desires in the service of the Supreme. So, in our day, Enna kare, Ella ni bhinu nundra avasim kare yade. In the Enna kare, Ella Bhagwan kare, Na Bharpani kare. Just like Drupa Maharaj, he was a young boy. He had a material desire. He wanted to get a kingdom. He went to the forest and he did tapasya, and in six months, he got a huge kingdom, a big kingdom. अदाव दे दुर्वा मारा चंदे और बंदे जरा आशे ये बंदे दे इन्ना मिंदा ना बंदे इंद किंग ना सुना का आरस आरसना का आगे बंदे मिंदा और ये इन्ना मिंदे दे आला बंदे मिंदे ये इन्ना मिंदे दे सो ये बढ़िया का बंदे आवर निर्णित दे आवर भगवान आवर तो करो दा तो समटाइम्स पीपल थिंक ओ आई हैव टू म we have material desires, we can go to Krishna. Krishna can fulfill our material desires. Whatever you want, if you want liberation or you have no material desires, still you should worship Krishna. We, we, we simply have to understand we are the servant, he is the master. So we offer everything to him. And we see in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is not very demanding about what he wants. His, what he asks for, very simple things. He said, Patram, Pushpam, Palam, Toyam, a leaf, a flower, a fruit, some water. Just very simple, basic things. Lord Krishna is asking, just offer it to me with love and devotion and I will accept it. 
கிருஷ்ணன் வந்து நம்ம கிட்ட ரொம்ப நிறைய எதிர்பார்ப்பது இல்லை அதனால வந்து அவருக்கு இப்ப பகவத்கீதை கூறுகின்ற பஷ்டம் பற்றம் புஷ்டம் பலம் தோய்ஞ்சும் ஒரு இலையோ தண்ணீரோ ஒரு பூத்தரோ நம்ம வந்து அவர் அன்பாக நம்ம கிட்ட கேட்கிறார் அது நம்ம பகவானுக்கு வந்து அர்ப்பணம் செய்தால் அதை பகவான் வந்து ஏற்றுக் கொள்கின்றார் Now Krishna is not greedy to get our fruits and flowers. He has many goddesses of fortune who are all serving him in the spiritual world. So Bhagavan vandu perasa karar alla avar vandu namukku vandu indha pooka nam kodukodi indha pookal matra neer ilegalo indha avarukku vandu thevayum kadaiyadhu. But what he wants from us is our devotion. that love he wants that that is the thing most appreciated by him ana bhagavan namukitta enna edirpaakkindana anbavum and nam seivara and seivinda bhagavan vandu edirpaakkindu and lord krishna said the only way he can be understood is by devotion not by any other means not by karma not by jnana not by yoga but only by devotion so jnana yogamo idu karma yogamo idana vand bhagavan edu paadane namma jnana vand bhagavan edu paadane so we all have devotion some people are devoted to their dog some people are devoted to their sports some people are devoted to their career like you know if you work for a multinational corporation they want that from the moment you open your eyes in the morning you will simply think about their company about the business of the company and what you have to do to push the company to greater heights and to achieve greater success they want people to give their whole lives like that ஸோ நம்ம வந்து வாழ்க்கையில் நம்மளுக்கு தேவைப்படக்கூடிய எல்லா விஷயங்களும் நம்மளுக்கு கிடைப்பது என்று நம்ம வந்து நினைத்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் ஸோ அதன் அதன் அதற்குரிய அந்த செயல்களை நம்ம வந்து செய்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் அது நம்மளுக்கு என்ன நன்மைகள் கொடுக்க போகின்றன So Lord Krishna actually said we should be devoted to him not not to these jobs but we should worship him with that kind of love. Namba para karyangalukku namba vande namba arpanithu seidhaanu kuda ana unmyanathu vendathu vande bhagavanukku namba namba desangale arpanithu seidhaanu. Right devotion should be one pointed in the Bhagavad Gita Krishna said by ava sayatmika buddhi ekha kurananda that those who are on this path are resolute in determination and their aim is one o beloved child of the kurus the intelligence of those who are irresolute is many branch so bhagavan gidele solugindra yaar vande unmyana nilaye vande irundu selpadugindrargalo avare enna vande avare urudhi ondu da அந்த உறுதி இல்ல என்றால் அவருடைய மனங்கள் பல இடங்கள் வந்து அலைபாகின்றது என்று சோ வாட்ஸ் தி டிஃபரன்ஸ் யூ ஹேவ் டு பீ டிவோட்டட் டு கிருஷ்ணா வை ஷட் ஐ பீ டிவோட்டட் டு மை பிக் கம்பெனி டு மை மல்டிநேஷனல் கம்பெனி தி தி டிஃபரன்ஸ் இஸ் மல்டிநேஷனல் கம்பெனி இஸ் ஃபினிஷ்ட் அட் தி டைம் ஆஃப் டெத் இட்ஸ் நாட் கோயிங் டு சேவ் யூ फ्रॉम बर्थ அண்ட் டெத் பட் இஃப் யூ வர்ஷிப் கிருஷ்ணா தென் கிருஷ்ணா கேன் டெலிவர் யூ फ्रॉम தி மெட்டீரியல் எக்ஸிஸ்ட் சோ நாம் வந்து எது செய்தாலும் நம்ம வாழ்க்கையில பல வேளைகள் நாம் வந்து எது செய்தாலும் இது வந்து நமக்கு வந்து இந்த இறப்பு பிறப்பு என்ற இந்த சக்கரத்தில இருந்து நாம் வந்து விடுதலை விடுதலை கிடைக்காது ஆனால் பகவானுக்கு பக்தி செய்தால் மட்டுமே நமக்கு வந்து இந்த இறப்பு என்ற பிறப்பு என்ற சக்கரத்தில இருந்து நாம் விடுதலை முடியும் தென் கிருஷ்ண சர் வன் ஹூ கம்ஸ் டு மீ ஹூ will never come back again to this place. So this is bhakti yoga. We want to cultivate this mood of devotion for Krishna. So it is not bhakti yoga. When we do the bhakti yoga, we are not going to do the bhakti yoga. It's very easy. Just chant the Hare Krishna mantra and eat prasad. So it is very easy. Just chant the Hare Krishna mantra and eat prasad. 
भगवान के प्रसाद से नाम बंद सोए कभी नहीं सो वी वर चेंटिंग एट द बिगिनिंग वी हैड नाइस स्क्रिप्ट टाइम फॉर अबाउट एन आवर वी वर चेंटिंग महामंत्रा मेनी मंत्रस सो नाम बंद इन द महामंत्र से इधर मुन्ने नाम पाड़ी बंद इन द माधु बोला सो आर देयर एनी क्वेश्चंस एनीवन हैज एनी प्रॉब्लम एदा द केले के अंदर केतला एदो को परिचय के अंदर हम चल रहा any comments or objections eda sala gunaram en sala ga please professor please yes go ahead we need some erga na kelu irunda ninga tamana kuda kekala na pa avaru nadu We need some devil's advocates, right? The devil's advocate <laughs> to promote the teachings of the devils. <laughs> yes, Pushpa. <laughs> Where is your daughter? No, well. accepted yes well first of all the thing that we should do should be authorized right the bhakti should be guiding you that you do this for krishna and you can read prabhupada's books also prabhupada's teaching us in the books what we can do for krishna just like you're cooking you're cooking for krishna Right, you're a great cook, so you're cooking for Krishna. So that's a service for Krishna. And Prabhupada also used to cook, and he would get devotees to cook, and sometimes he would cook himself, and he would show us how to cook. So cooking is an important service. Lord Krishna is a person, and Lord Krishna likes to eat. He will go in the forest all day with the cows. When he comes home at night. He is ready to eat, and when he goes in the forest in the morning, he will take his lunch bag with him. He will take some food with him to eat in the forest. So cooking is an important service for Krishna. So we should think that I'm not just cooking. I'm not just cooking for myself, and I'm not cooking for a job. But I'm. This is my service to Krishna. I want Krishna to enjoy my cooking. I hope we pray that we can cook nicely to please Krishna. So Madhuri, get the kelly from the Maharaj. Then so now and that, now when the Bhagwan and the Navar, so Navaragi, if we go there, we say that all serving them are when they get to come in that. So Bhagwan and that, now when they say serving them, say that now, Samir serving them, when the Bhagwan and that, now we say that. முக்கியமாக <laughs> Yes. 
Yes, whatever you do, you do it for Krishna and cook. We are cooking, we cook with love, right? Cook with love and devotion. That's the important ingredient in our cooking. That when we cook for Krishna, there must be love and devotion. Then the cooking tastes very wonderful. Why is the prasadam so attractive? Because it's cooked with love and devotion. That is the special ingredient when the devotee cooks. It's not just the, the, the things you purchase in the store, but it's the mood, it's that devotion the which the cook prepares the food. And then it's also offered, just like here we're offering to Jagannath. Though we offer the food to the deity, and we have the deity, or we have the temple, the altar, and we, whatever we cook, we offer it on the altar to the Lord. In this way, we take the remnants, what is offered to the Lord, prasanna. And when we take the prasad, then everybody feels pleased. That is proof that your cooking is being accepted, that your service is being accepted, that people enjoy, they like very much. So that's the proof that your cooking is being accepted, your service is being accepted by Krishna, that people are happy and appreciating. So Bhagavan Ganamu says, Yadu say dhālam and the number yāngum bhaktiyum teve parikinda, sādhan jiva. And then Valiyā Ganamu says, Madhu Bhagavan Nandhi Thirupi Arikinda. Nam Yadu say dhālam and the umiyāna and the ஆனந்த <laughs> And you'll see also that when you're cooking, that you'll feel pleasure, that you feel the sense of responsibility, that you're cooking for Krishna. So there's that feeling, the love is awakened. That you feel pleasure, not, not only does Krishna take pleasure in eating, but the devotee takes pleasure in cooking, that he feels happy to cook for Krishna. And but because you're doing service for Krishna, we get purified. Purified means you, get, you have less material desires and you become more attached to Krishna. You think of Krishna as a person, and I'm cooking for Krishna. You know, Krishna is hungry, he wants to eat, I have to cook for him. So that is the purification, that's the sign that your service is being accepted. So, we are going to the and the the Krishna is coming. Krishna is coming every day to eat. Right? You have to cook there for him. You're cooking. You have to keep very nice prasada, cook nicely. You have to keep yourself pure also. Chanting Hare Krishna, very important. Keep up your devotion because Krishna is not hungry for the food, but he wants your love, your devotion. So Krishna Bhagavan Vande, Nam Sabda Vande ka Andhra ka Nam Vande, Indra ka Dwari ka Indra. So Indra ka Nam Vande, Nam Vande, Tum Me Ya Ka Vaidhi Kante Nam Vande, Same Vande Nam Vande Ka Nam Vande, Nam Vande Ka Nam Vande. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll now everybody can taste the prasada. So you follow the Lama Dana Prasada is out of love. One man, Kupu Lama Dana. I like Sinatra Gupta, the Lama Dana. I like Sinatra Gupta. Sadhana Devanti Varikindra Vyala Kalame Namode Alayatala Yisominas Bhana Swami Maharaj Sadhare Thursday, Thursday Thursday So Thursday Namo Alayatala Ekpadu Bhala Sam Prajinandi Ekpadu Yekno Maharaj Swami Maharaj Swami Maharaj Swami Maharaj Swami Maharaj Swami Sita Nani English and Deep Vision Pura So Ella Vakkara Nandi Kalandi Avrade Asra Vadam Dhanam Chetu Dhanam Chetu Dhanam Was this book for this program? Ah, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs>